Right, we're going to be looking at how to upgrade the beat body and what you need to do is you press the drum and tempo at the same time you come into settings and if you scroll down using the tempo you come to about beat body and if you press that now you'll see what firmware you're on and what you need to do is check that the firmware on their site is more than this figure here and if it is then it needs upgrading. You need to go to singular sound dot com and you come onto this page here and what you need to do this little symbol here that looks like somebody speaking through a microphone if you click on that you come to this page and if you scroll down you can see the latest version and here it's 3.8 so if you click on the download you'll see that you come to this new page now as you scroll down, you'll find the previous versions of the Beat Buddy, which mine's on about 2.4, and at the top of that, you'll see the latest download, which is the 3.8, and you need to click on that. And now, at the bottom, you can see a zip folder being formed here, and that will end up in your download files, but if you go to open, or if I go to open, it comes straight up in a file here. But if I go into my explorer, into downloads, and I've done this a couple of times now, and you can see the Beat Body firmware. And what you need to do is open that and you'll find five folders. Now these five folders, you need to highlight them and you need to copy them. And then you need to go to the Beat Body now you can connect the beat body to your computer either using the USB to USB into the computer or if you've got an SD uh, slot on your computer you can take the SD card out and put the SD card into the computer. Now I'm actually going to connect the USB to USB straight to my computer and do it that way. You can see that the computer has actually found the drive. So looking on the computer now you can see this USB drive D and that's where you need to go and that's where you need to paste in here the files but don't paste them into any folders you just paste them outside the folders put them in there and then that will update the uh, firmware and then once that's done uh, disconnect your beat body from the uh, computer and then you'll see it's starting to update itself and then when it's complete it's all done and the firmware has been updated to the latest version and you can check that again if you go to your beat body again by pressing drum and the tempo to get into settings about beat body and now you will see it's gone to the new version of the 3.8 firmware 